What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another video on FIFA 18, and today I'm going to be opening some packs. I've got a Prime Gold Players pack from one of the uh, Squabber Challenges, uh, one of these uh, like subsections, not the uh, the Togo reward for like completing one. And then I've got a bunch of uh, two Rare Gold Players packs. So we're going to start with these. They're all untradeable, <coughs> but hopefully we'll be missing them good. I finally figured out what... Uh, or like how to find out if it's gonna be this FIFA's version of walkout. If it's if it looks like a cross with like a little flashing lights in the middle, or like the England flag but gold, that means that it's gonna be a uh, a board down, I think is what people are calling it. Uh but yeah, that's this FIFA's game of walkout. Now I don't know if there's like an extra special one for like really high rated players. Wow, cast race is Okay, I didn't even know he's still in the game. Uh, that's cool, I guess. But yeah, I've had, I haven't really packed a uh, player high enough to uh, test it, but uh, 83 plus is what gets you this this walkout. I'm just gonna call it a walkout. Uh, this one's not a walkout. Who is it gonna be? Wow, no one. Junizovic, maybe. It is okay. So 79 rated. Even if I don't get any like really good players here, it is good just to fill the club with some rare players. Uh, which will be useful in Sculpted Challenges, but come on, give me a walkout. Still no walkout. 3 for 3 on no walkouts. It's going to be... I mean, French Syria could be useful. Not really that great, though. Not going to be using him in any squads. Same for that guy. Pretty disappointing so far, but uh, we still got a few left to go in that prime uh, gold players pack. Come on, EA. God damn. These packs have been just awful. It is Vitinho. Okay, he might have five star skills. He could be decent, but uh, I'm not too sure. He does have five star skills, and he's gold in this game. I think he was silver last game, so he can actually make a pretty decent cam. Passing is a bit low, but pretty decent dribbling, pace, and shooting. Uh, I might try him out at some point. Who knows? <clears throat> so we're starting to warm up a little bit. Tony, just give me a walkout. Even if it's 8th rated, just come on. Ah. I actually, um, the way that I got the, the, uh, the coins to get these packs, wow, Daniel Sturridge, actually, though, he's trash. What happened to his pace? 76 pace. Does he have 4 star skills at least? Okay, he has 4 star skills, but like, wow. His card is so bad this year, like, compared to last year. I mean, it's still all right, but, like, damn, that's... But, yeah, I actually packed uh, Usman Dembele, who is only 83 rated in this game, but his stats, like, he has really high pace in dribbling, and then 5-star, five 5-star, five you know, he plays for Barcelona. So he was uh, 48,000 coins, I think, when I first sold him, so that was a decent pool. Still no walkouts here, though. It's been very disappointing so far. We're going to get uh, Camacho, decent player, 81 rated. <clears throat> Things are starting to get a little bit better. Tanelli as well is a pretty decent looking card. High low work rates. I might try, I might, I might give him a go. Alright, two left to go before the prime goal players pack. Come on, give me at least one walkout. At least one. Oh my, still no walkout. This is absurd. It is going to be Claudio Bravo, though, which is a, uh, a decent pool. 82 rated. And we actually get two Premier League goalkeepers, which is interesting. Um, I don't really use a Premier League squad, but if I do, I would probably use Bravo. Could be useful in squad challenges anyways, though. Alright, last one of the two rare player packs, and it is not a walkout. Well, who's it going to be? It is going to be... I know who it is, but I can't remember. Belanda. Okay. It's kind of disappointing, to be honest. I mean, two 81 rare players. Pro could actually be useful, but I just got 16 rare players, and none of them were any good. I would say, like, good enough to warrant what I paid for them. It was about 4000 a pack. Okay. This is the only tradable pack, though. Hopefully this is the one that we get the good players. Come on, EA. Give me a decent pack. Uh, it's not a walkout. Oh, my. 
going to be Leighton Baines, though, who could be worth something right now because he's a uh, pretty high-rated left back in the Premier League. So let's just uh, have a little look. Wow, he's not actually worth that much. That was that was a very anti-climactic pack of me. Okay, you know what? I'm not alright with that. We're gonna we're gonna open a couple more packs. So I'm just gonna go in real quick and get a couple more of these two red play packs. And we're gonna go again. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what squad builders you should complete, um, there is the Galatasaray squad builder challenge, which you only need 10, 10 Galatasaray players for. Uh, I forget which one they give you. And you get a prime electric players pack. I think it costs like eight to 12,000 coins to complete, and uh, so it's a decent pack. There's also one here, uh, Monterey, that you get a prime electric players pack. Uh, that one might be a little bit more difficult because you need silver players from the Mexican League, which could be expensive. And then another one that is pretty cheap and pretty easy to do is uh, this one. You get a prime gold players pack for it, and uh, you basically just need a lot of nationalities from the same league. So I got a bunch of Bundesliga players. Most of them cost me 350, 400 coins. Um, I was actually just buying them to uh, to get players for this, and then, you know, I was able to complete that. So yeah, those two squad builder challenges I would definitely recommend doing. The two rare players packs, I, I don't really know if they're worth it just yet. I'm going to complete two more, and then that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, so we will see. Oh, shoot. It gave me a bunch of rare players. Okay, I'm going to go in and actually... Uh, put the players in. The good thing about these is that this year you don't really need uh, a lot of chemistry. You actually hardly need any chemistry at all. You only need 40, uh, which you need 30. I'll use, I'll use little, actually. You need 30 chemistry for uh, the 82 plus rated player packs, I think, last year. And then the, uh, the two rare players packs for the entire year, you need 50 chemistry which is a um, pretty high amount. I mean, that extra 10 makes, like, it's a big difference. But when you only need 40, it's basically you put players in the correct positions and you need, like, one or two legs, and then you're, uh, you're done. So actually, I'm going to use these two uh, Argentinian players, and we probably are there. Yeah, pretty much. I just need to get this guy out because he's a, a rare player. And there we go. So there's one. I'm going to do two more, and that's going to be the end of the video, regardless of who we get. Alright, hopefully this one will be just as easy. I'm just going to go in and put the players in the correct positions, and we should be good to go. And again, we're going to use center backs for these positions. I don't think I have a lot of left backs. No, I don't. So I'm going to use center back for the left back position as well. I might have wing backs that I could use, but uh, I'll see. I'll see if the chemistry works out. <coughs> All right, two more players. Uh, so we're almost there. I'm gonna add in uh, some Spanish players. So it should be easy to uh, get the chemistry because I've got a lot of Spanish players in the club. <clears throat> okay. This should be enough to uh, get the chemistry up. Just these two players might even be good enough. Yep, there we go. Alright, so four more rare players. Come on, EA. At least one A3 blister player. Like, I, w I would say I should get at least one for all these packs. Maybe even like two or three. I mean, A3 is not that high rated. But, uh, just have to wait and see. Come on, show me that animation. Oh, it's a walkout. It might not be good, but it is a walkout. Spanish striker. Okay, it's, it's Adarese. I'll I'll take Adarese. 84 rated. I'm not going to use him because I think pace is massive this year uh, compared to last year at least. So there's no way I'm going to be using a 70 pace striker, but an 84 rated striker nonetheless. And Spanish. We get his double edge as well. Both of those are definitely gonna be useful at some point for squad better challenges. So I would say this was definitely successful. Um, because just because of that one thing, and if we could get another walk out here, that would be fantastic. We can't, but uh, yeah, that definitely makes up for all the other players that we got that weren't very good. Because just having all these rare players in the club is gonna be decent uh, for squad challenges. 
Although this guy, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to quick sell him. Yep, okay, so that sucks. But uh, I will take that. 84 to player, we get Sturridge, we get Leighton Baines, a couple of other decent, decent pulls. So uh, that's going to be the end of this pack opening. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know who you got in your packs, any that you've opened in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.